Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so this time around, we're going to play with the Buncher. Um, I was actually doing some testing, getting the Buncher head all right for uh, release there. And I totally did some bunching, some really horrible bunching. And I accidentally hit escape and it saved and I was like, no! So, um, we definitely have a little bit of stuff here. I'm going to have to clean this up though because I don't know how the heck we were going to skid that. In the horrible piles I made. Like I said, I was just kind of messing around doing some testing, but um, I was not planning on hauling the logs because I thought I would just quit and resave. But unfortunately, that didn't happen, so we're going to uh, correct that. Um, we're going to throw this guy right over here. So hopefully, everybody's enjoying the new buncher and the new blade. It's been uh, it's been pretty interesting so far. I think a lot of people are uh, really needing that for their, their logging operation to make it complete. So I think it's good that we finally have that option. And one thing that I've done with all the machines in the most recent update, I think it's the V3 update. I think that was the most recent one. Um, what I've done is I've added, it's called rotation acceleration. Um, basically, it allows it so when you spin the machine, it goes a lot faster. But if I let go of the joystick, you see how it has a bit of a delay so like I let go now, but it still keeps going a little bit. So it gives it almost the the false sense of having a real life swing break, and a swing break basically applies brake to the or the uh, the rotation of the cab, so that it stops the machine from going. Or otherwise, it would just spin an in infinity on a uh, bearing, right? So it uh, it's kind of cool to have that ability. So I fixed that, and it's on the arms and the heads as well. So one thing I really liked was the head. So if again, if I let go, you see how it has like a little bit of a lag delay? So go, go, stop. It keeps going a little bit. Before I'd have it, and it was like instant stop all the time. And what was happening was the logs were actually starting to glitch out really bad. Um, same with loading. Like if I was making tiny adjustments like that. See, if I tap it just lightly, see how it turns really smooth? Before, if I did it, it would be like, dat, dat, really jittery. And it caused the logs to glitch out in the grapples. And I always wondered what would, like, how I could do that or, or correct that. And I was like, well, maybe if we put something like a damper almost to it. And that's totally what the rotation acceleration does is it, it almost adds like a false damper to the, um, the movement of the head. And that allows you to um, have it act a lot more realistically, which is great. So hopefully people are digging that. Again, it, it might take a little bit of getting used to because some uh, some people were really used to that instant kind of reaction that was there before, and now that's kind of gone. So it's a little bit of a delay on it. It's not like a crazy delay, but it's enough to be maybe noticeable for some people who uh, are used to the old way. And let's grab a couple more here. Actually, we'll, maybe we'll put this one up here. Again, like I said, this was just, just for testing, so these were not dropped in any strategic way. I should have, if I was going to bunch, I would have put them the other way, like up facing downhill. But unfortunately, we uh, didn't do that because we weren't even planning on hauling them. They were just going to be temporary fails there. But that's okay. We're fine with correcting our work here. Actually, let's grab that one too, just to make it even here. Just to even the world up here. And I just turned the blade off so I can make little minor adjustments to my file. See, that's riding on top of that, so let's see if we can turn it inward without, oops, without them all going too haywire. Uh, uh. Come on. There we go. How's that? Perfect. Well, as perfect as we're going to get. How's this pile? This one's not too, too horrible looking. At least I laid them sort of. I didn't just huck them completely all over the place. I laid them kind of as if they were going to be skidded. <laughs> it's okay. If we have to do two at a time, that's fine. We'll get them out of here. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Lock this in here. If I can make it stay there. Actually, here, let's grab these and tilt them the other way here if I can. 
Because I mean, we're going to be skidding downhill, so we'll try to make it as easy on ourselves as possible. Whatevs, man. That's good enough. And then these bunches, I think, are ones we've already made, so they're actually in good shape. Oh, look, a buncher head. I guess if we get bored, we can always swap it out. <laughs> Also in the last update, um, I fixed the fuel intake on these vehicles, so they will go through fuel a lot faster than they did before, um, because it was like, it's, I mean, as long as we've played this game so far, um, we haven't had to fuel, which I thought was a little weird. So that is now corrected. We will be needing to fuel things, so we'll probably have to buy a little crappy little pickup and, um, a fuel trailer or something for the time being till we get one of our own made and then we could build kind of a a fuel cache out here so we can bring it by and fuel up it's kind of making some random piles here just for fun do a little bit of bunching should actually do a little bit of skidding. Actually, well, loading's <laughs> loading's the thing we got to do. So why don't we why don't we do one thing at a time? Play catch up here. So we got this one load that's kind of a weird. There's a weird combination load because we got uh, we got some shorts on there. We got some longs in there. So let's go get rid of this thing first. I see we got some wood laying over here too. I'm gonna cheat and just go right off the road here. Get this sucker to the mill, and then I'm going to bring it back alongside where we're uh, cutting up all those shorts. And then we'll be able to uh, load that up and get cutting again. That's the theory, anyway. Still waiting for all that mud to show up on this trailer. Just eyeballing it. It's slowly showing up, though. I see little little blotches. Got to drive it through some more nasty blocks. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I'll tell you, night shift is just the worst. Don't ever do night shift if you uh, have the option not to. It's a terrible thing. Sleepy, sleepy. We're almost done. I think we got another week and then we're finished up. Maybe even sooner than a week. It might be. This might be our last night. I don't know. There's a lot of rumors. Rumors always start up at the end of night shift because everybody wants to be done. <laughs> so out come all the rumors. Let's try right about here just for a change one other really cool thing that you guys are going to be seeing soon so i'm working on a truck and a low well the low bed's already built it just needs a lot of tuning but um all of these machines are now lockable to the trailers um with tension belts so the same tension belts these orange guys that lock the logs down um are on the low bed that i'm building right now and all you gotta do is hit l and it locks the whole load or the whole machine to the trailer. It doesn't wiggle around, doesn't move at all. So that's something I've always wanted, and I'm really happy to get it. Um, it does cause a couple errors in, like, the script. Like, um, so, we, oops, so we call it the console. So this is the console. You can't see it, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, there is a couple Lua, Lua errors, which are script errors that um, are getting called back. But none of it's game-breaking, none of it's crashing, um, so... I mean, we're doing something that's not really supposed to be done. You're not supposed to be able to lock these machines uh, as if they're an object, but I kind of found a way to cheat it and make it work, so... Oops. Um, so we're going to use that. And although it does cause a couple errors in the console, like I said, they don't cause any frame rate drop. They don't cause any, like, loss to the experience of playing, so I think that's the important part. Oh yeah, this thing's perfect for these little guys. Now what I want to do is build kind of a plateau here, because we're going to have to put the longs on top. Uh, oops, depth perception, where are you today? Excuse me, has anybody seen depth perception? Could you let him know that Jordan's looking for him? There we go. Oh, it's kind of a fugly grab, but we'll take it. Again, when you load up these kind of weird loads where they're mixed, it's really hard. Normally, you could just grab all of them and unload it like a normal, normal dealio, but because we got longs in there, it just kind of messes it all up.
Oops. Let's see if we can get this little guy by himself here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. So, yeah, lots of... Lots of updates. I know I up, I'm updating these machines a lot. I never used to update this much. But, I mean, it's good updates. They're quality quality things that we're uh, accomplishing. So, hopefully people are happy with the updates. And the way I'm updating now, um, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, reset them in-game anymore. It'll just update the version um, of the machine, but it doesn't actually hurt it. So... Um, at least when you guys are doing updates, like before when 17, I used to always have it um, like a new version in the file name. So what would happen is it would cause the vehicle to reset, which is a pain in the butt because, you know, you, you get all this stuff like set up in the bush. I have all my loaders out there. Everything's been low bedded nice. And uh, it's a real pain in the butt if I have to re -low bed all the equipment every single time. And I'm sure you guys know that experience if you've played with my mods from 17. I uh, I caused that to happen a lot, so um, I'd like to thank Chad for talking me into doing it a different way because I was very stubbornly not giving a crap and didn't want to do it that way. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing it a new way, and I think the results are fantastic. So I'll tell you, if it wasn't for my uh, if it wasn't for my logging team to keep me in check, I think things would be a lot different. Because I have a tendency to be like, ah, the hell with it. Just do it this way. And uh, they keep me uh, always performing my best. So it's good. Okay, how much you guys think it's going to be worth? Mm, I'm just going to take a... Okay, 47800 Oh my god, 72473 That's crazy. I guess most of it was shorts. The shorts are worth a ridiculous amount of money. Like we have $532,000 in the bank right now. Crazy. We could actually buy one of our own machines if we really wanted to. Leasing's working out though. Let's do that. Send while we're leasing. If the machine starts crapping out, because they will, they eventually the hours on them is going to get pretty, uh, pretty high up there, and they're gonna probably crap out on us. So, I uh, was talking to Chad, and he said that he had he has a machine that he's been running for his time lapse series there, and uh, it's starting to fail him. Like it'll stall out, and the sinks into the ground a bit and acts kind of crappy so I imagine our loaders will start kind of getting that way after after they've been abused for a while so we'll see how that goes okay so what I want to do is I want to bring this trailer um, kind of alongside where our loader is here and we're going to have kind of a, a funky load so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it around. I should, uh, you know what I'm going to make a little turnaround, so what I'm going to do. Using our famous skitter here. And let's put a turnaround right here. We'll go like this. I might have to take out that tree, actually. Whoops. God, don't run to the side of your vehicles. It's a bad call. I probably would have popped like four tires doing that. And we'll wrap it around this way. And take out this little edge here. There we go. That's basically uh, just a little turnaround for our for our trailer there. Hopefully that uh, that's enough room. I think it'll be enough. Maybe we'll find out. As long as we hug this side a whole bunch, I think we should be able to clear it. Hopefully, probably be easier if that tree wasn't there. But ah, it's an obstacle. Let's have some fun. Basically, I just want to pull alongside this guy. And we'll go 
this way a little bit. How's that? We'll see. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Maybe we'll put the front bunk will be garbage wooden because we do got to get rid of this stuff. So let's try it here. It's actually be, this will be my first time loading with the new um, rotation physics and see how smooth it is. I already feel like I'm a smoother operator with the way that these new, um, like the new machines, arms and stuff handle. It just it's way smoother. It's not jittery. Nothing's kind of jerky. It seems really, uh, really legit. And I see one kind of fell down there. It's a problem with this crap wood trying to load it is it doesn't want to play nice. Let's see if we can get that one out of there. Just do a little snip here. And we'll see if we can step it up there. There we go. Hand loaded by yours truly. Just kind of tuck it in there. We'll cradle it. <laughs> cradle a tiny piece like that. Let's see if we can get all this garbage wood in the same bunk. Also, something I did in an update that nobody probably noticed was I made it so this claw actually opens wider, which makes grabbing a lot easier. So it actually opens almost square now before it used to be down quite a bit so oh, I lost another little piece uh, let me just check something here oh we're good physics check there real quick uh, let's see here oh, can we get that little piece back there here we can oops and these tops are so garbage. <laughs> they just don't want to play nice at all. I shouldn't put those rat tails in there. Honestly, they're pretty. They're pretty terrible. I should save that for. Uh, I should save that for doing uh, chipping or something. There's just no good way to react with those little pieces. And you just get these little rat chunks all over the place. Which are not ideal, that's for sure. Well, let's see if we can get this one on top here. Let's go like this. We're gonna play catch with the deck here. Can't you throw it anymore? Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. So you can, oops, jeez, come on, stay locked. <laughs> Not quite. My guy's just a tad too short here. Somebody said there's a way you can rotate it, but I can't seem to get the control working if there is one. Like rotate object, I assume, or something like that. Alright, so that looks alright. Let's uh let's back up a little here. What is this? Where'd you come from? <laughs> what even was that piece? Floating happy piece. Alright, okay, so we're going to get this first bunk loaded, <clears throat> and then I'm going to have to uh, end it here, but we'll uh, we'll continue loading it in the next one. Get that finished up. So let's grab a scoop out of here. And throw those on there as well. And we'll get one more here. Now these loads are going to be worth lots of money because you process them like this, they uh, they make the cash. And I'm just going to actually bump that. Oops, bump that back just a teeny bit. Okay, I'll park that. Just turn yourself off. There you go. Turn this off. Lock that up. That's good enough for one little bunk there. And this little fugly piece here.
which I kind of want to destroy if I can. Big cut. There we go. Boom! Disappeared. And the rest was uh, magic. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here, um, but in the next one, we'll keep loading up, get rid of all these shorts, and then we'll start dragging in new ones. we got lots of piles out there to bring up here, so it should be fun. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe, and if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.